The first Protestant missionary arrived in India in 1706. Now, more than 300 years later, the majority of India's 1.27 billion people remain unreached with the gospel. Six years ago, Jesus for Asia conducted an evangelistic series in Udal Malpet, and 72 people were baptized. They still remain without a church of their own. While the cost of buying land in this area continues to rise, we've been praying for land where a church can be built. Some local members have found a less expensive piece of land just outside of town. Today we're going with Brother Israel and a local pastor to see it. The pastor was here in the evangelistic series in 2007. He did uh, six years ago. He was the singer, he was the introducer, he was part of the whole thing, organizing it, and saw the baptisms, saw the church raised up, and now he's the president of, of this area. And uh, so this is on his heart. He keeps talking to me about it. You have how many people in the church now in, in the Udmal We have in, uh, 27 baptized members. Yeah. 27? Yes. Okay. The land is from that stone to that stone there. Comparatively, if you see the other places, you know, uh, this place was quite l less expensive than the other places because from the town, if you see, it is just, I think, five kilometers. Five kilometers and... Uh, and the bus goes right here? Right, that is the main road. That's the main road. So they could get here? Yes. So, but, uh, you know, it has been just dragging and the prices are increasing. The members have been uh, worshipping in that, uh, <coughs> uh, you know, that uh, really? hall. That's where we went. You went today, yes. you can see all those idols. There. Yes. Amidst that, our people are worshiping every Sabbath, mm -hmm. which is very, you know, painful. Mm -hmm. And uh, n more painful is when sometimes they get any big marriages order or something like that, they push us out. So that's why they have to like call every week to make sure it's happening. Kind of. Yeah. And uh, this makes, you know, because uh, when Elder John would add the meeting, uh, from that time we had quite a number of people attending the church because there was no church. You know, they they were feeling somewhat like how to worship in the house. They were feeling like uh, we are not having that, uh, you know, spirituality there. Just for the land for the church is about 12,000 and then we'd like to get another one behind it, which is going to be more. Yes, yes. So about 25, maybe 30,000 for the for a piece of land to build a church and a school on. To build a good church these days, how much? It comes uh, uh, 10 lakhs. 10 lakhs. So it's about 20,000 for the church. And then to build a school, maybe another 20 lakhs? Yes. Ten lakhs. Ten lakhs. Ten lakhs. So forty thousand. So about less than a hundred thousand dollars. We could have a full-blown church and school on this property with the property. Father in heaven, we come before you, and you know this has been a burden on our heart for six years now to find land in Udamalkat for those precious people that were baptized. Father, we ask for this land, not only this but the other next to it, Father. You know the needs, you know your resources, you are the creator of all things. And so, Father, we just ask for a miracle upon hearts, which is your preferred method. Whether we lift up all these believers that have been waiting patiently, that have been Sabbath to Sabbath, unsure really about where they're going to meet. Forgive us if our vision is too small, if this is the wrong place, if you have a better place, if you would like something bigger, better. Just guide us, Father. We acknowledge you, and we look to you, and we depend completely, 100% on you. Just make us sensitive to your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' precious name, amen. 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 So, you know, Pastor, some people yeah. in America don't know that there are needs in the mission field. Yes. They're unaware. <laughs> Uh, but do you think there's needs? Yeah, big needs. They need. This congregation has been established for six years. You know, so it's not it's not a it's not a tenuous thing. It's a it's a done deal as far as the congregation to fill it. So it's a good it's a good cause. These are some of the, these this it's been breaking our hearts for six years now.